probability of combined events, self practice 9.4a. Question number one. A study is carried out on the gender of the children from 16,000 families with two children. Estimate the number of families with at least one son in that study. We have gender, boy and girl. So we list the sample space. Sample space equals boy and boy, girl and girl, boy and girl and girl and boy. So event of getting at least one son is equals boy and boy, boy and girl, and girl and boy. Probability getting at least one son is 3 over 4. Question number 2. A box contains 3 yellow pens, 5 red pens, and a black pen. Two pens are chosen at random from the box. Calculate the probability that both pens chosen are of the same color. So first, I list out all the information. Yellow pen, 3. Red pen, 5. Black pen, 1. So total of the pen is 9. Now, we need to find probability first yellow pen and second yellow pen or probability first red pen and second red pen. We no need to find probability for black pen because black pen only one. So impossible choosing same color for black pen. The keyword N actually in probability is multiply. So we apply the multiplication rule. Or is plus. So here N change to multiply. So probability to get the first yellow pen is 3 over 9 times probability getting second yellow pen is 2 over 8. Because when you take out one of the yellow pen from the box, the number of the pen in the box is 8. And the number of yellow pen in the box, 2 only. That's why we have 2 over 8. So plus getting first red pen is 5 over 9 times second red pen 4 over 8 equals 13 over 36. Question number 3. Jonathan enjoys watching the sunset on the beach. Jonathan has two options for either going to Pantai Jati or Pantai Chunga for two days. The probability that it will rain every evening at Pantai Jati is 19 over 25. The probability that it will rain at Pantai Chunga depends on the previous day. If it does not rain on the previous day, the probability that it will rain in the evening is 5 over 7. If it rains on the previous day, the probability it will rain in the evening is 2 over 5. If the weather is good on both beaches on the previous day, Jonathan departed. Which beach should Jonathan choose so that he can enjoy watching the sunset on the beach for both evenings? Justify your answers. Okay, first we need to find probability not raining at Pandai Jati. So probability raining at Pantai Jati is 19 over 25. So not raining is complement of raining at Pantai Jati. So 1 minus 19 over 25 equals 6 over 25. Probability not raining on both days at Pantai Jati equals 6 over 25 times 6 over 25 equals 0 0.0576. Whereas probability not raining at Pantai Chenga, so we choose it does not rain on the previous day. The probability that it will rain in the evening is 5 over 7. So probability not raining at Pantai Chenga equals 1 minus 5 over 7 equals 2 over 7. 
Then we find the probability not raining on both days at Pantai Chang'e is 2 over 7 times 2 over 7 equals 0 0.08163. So conclusion is Pantai Chang'e because the probability of not raining on both days at Pantai Chang'e is higher. Question number four. Each customer of Naga shop who spends more than 200 will be given a chance to spin a lucky wear that has six similar sectors. Two of the sectors are red and the rest are yellow. Okay, this is lucky wear. If the pointer of the lucky wear stop in the red sector, the customer has a chance to choose a cash voucher from Boss A. If the pointer of the lucky wear stops in the yellow sector, the customer has a chance to choose a cash voucher from Box B. The number of cash vouchers in Box A and Box B are shown in the table above. So this table. It is estimated that 450 customers of Naga shop will spend more than 200 ringgit. Calculate the number of 10 ringgit voucher the Naga shop needs to prepare. The selected cash vouchers will be replaced with new vouchers by the shop so that the number of the cash voucher in the both boxes remains the same. First, we need to find the probability of lucky well stop at red sector. So we have two red sectors. So 2 over 6 equals 1 over 3. Next, we find the number of customers who choose a cash voucher from box A. So how to find it? The probability lucky well stop at red sector is 1 over 3. So if lucky well stop at the red sector, customer can choose a voucher from box A. Probability is 1 over 3. So 1 over 3 times the total of the customer is 450. So equals 150 customers. After this, we find the probability of lucky well stop at yellow sector. So yellow sector, we have 4 out of 6. So 4 over 6 equals 2 over 3. And again, we find the number of customers who choose a cash voucher from box P. So 2 over 3 times the total of the customer, 450, equals 300 customers. Actually, if you because total of the customer is 450, so 450 minus 150, you also can get 300 customers. Calculate the number of 10 ringgit vouchers the Naga shop needs to prepare. Probability choose 10 ringgit voucher from box A. A we have 20 50 ringgit cash voucher and 5 10 ringgit cash voucher. So probability choose 10 ringgit voucher from box A is 5 over 25, the total 20 plus 5 equals 1 over 5. Number of customer who choose 10 ringgit voucher from box A is 1 over 5 times, just now we got a number of customers who choose cash voucher from box A is 150. So times 150 equals 30 customers. Okay, next, we find the probability choose 10 ringgit voucher from box P. So box P, we have 10 voucher with 50 ringgit and 20 voucher with 10 ringgit. So probability choose 10 ringgit voucher from box P is 20 over the total 30 equals 2 over 3. Number of customer who choose 10 ringgit cash voucher from box P is 2 over 3 times just now we get the number of customer who choose cash voucher from box P is 300. So 2 over 3 times 300 equals 200 customers. Collect the number of 10 ringgit voucher the Naga shop need to prepare because we need as number of customer who choose 10 ringgit cash voucher from box A and 
box B. So 30 plus 200 equals 230. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more.